Okay, so our last tolerance of form that we're going to look at is cylindricity. Now we've covered straightness, flatness, and circularity thus far. And now we are going to look at cylindricity. Now, <clears throat> uh, if my example wasn't clear in the video on roundness, when I made the comment that we could think of roundness uh, as similar to straightness, I think you'll understand after this video what I meant by that. Um, whereas straightness was concerned strictly with a line element taken at any section of a plane, when we looked at flatness, it considered the entire plane itself. Well, in a similar manner, where circularity was concerned only with the form of the circular cross-section at any point along the length of a cylinder, for example, when we talk about cylindricity, we are concerned with the entire length of that cylinder. So, let's get right into it here. Here we have our, the same cylinder that we looked at when we were looking at roundness. It's a two inch diameter cylinder. And now we have a tolerance here, the symbol for cylindricity. And our tolerance value is again 10 thousandths of an inch, which we've been using consistently here. So here's our <coughs> cylinder in the isometric view. This is the, then the, the side view of that cylinder. So what cylindricity is telling us is, and I'm going to jump into the CAD system again, okay, and in this case we have our cylinder which is represented in the light blue, it may even appear as white in the video, and then we've established two concentric cylinders which represent the tolerant zone, the outer and inner tolerant zone, okay. Um, and I'm just going to rotate this to show that a little more clearly. Okay, so we have the cylinder, and then we've established these two cylindrical boundaries for our tolerant zone. Okay. So, what we are saying here when we say that this our part has to be cylindrical within ten thousandths of an inch we're saying that the surface of that part must lie within this tolerance zone which is ten thousandths of an inch wide and that tolerance zone is defined by two concentric cylinders, all right, which are shown here. This is the outer one, and this is the the inner cylindrical tolerance boundary. Okay. Now the difference then between circularity and cylindricity is that where circularity we cut sections along the length of the cylinder, right? and then we examined each section independent of one another for cylindricity we're looking at the entire length of the cylinder and the entire cylinder surf the surface of the cylinder must lie within this ten thousandths of an inch band okay so circularity we're looking at independent slices Cylindricity, we're looking at the entire cylindrical surface. Uh, and when I said that we can think of circularity and straightness together, we can think of flatness and cylindricity together. In other words, where flatness describes the entire plane instead of just slices of the plane, cylindricity describes the tolerance applied to the entire cylinder rather than just slices of the cylinder. 
hopefully that makes sense. And that is it for cylindricity.